What's happening YouTube? It is old Chevy 4x4 with almost a vlog, like that close to a vlog, alright? I'm going to show you what I picked up this weekend. I know a lot of you guys share the same kind of interests that I have, and you all look for the same things I look for, and uh, I'm trying to show you what I found this weekend, what I picked up, and uh, you know, why I picked it up. First and foremost, guys, I love clearance. I love clearance sections at stores. Every store I go into, if there's a clearance section, I will go over there and I will, uh, you know, dig around and see what I can find. Our local dollar store had a clearance going on. I picked all this crap up right here. I pretty well wiped them out, to be honest with you. There wasn't a whole lot left when I walked out. A little clamp, I got all kinds of machine screws, sheet metal screws, drywall anchors, more machine screws with nuts, more anchors, um, brackets, more machine screws, all different kinds of machine screws, different lengths, different sizes, more brackets, even a hook. So, uh, right there, put these all over so you can see them all. Cool little clamp, little tiny clamp, gotta love that, right? Um, everything you see there, $10.29 plus tax. Can't beat that. Can't beat it with a stick. These stupid, you know, little machine screws, my God, if you gotta go to the hardware store and pick these things up, you pay out the nose for them. So, to me, that's a fantastic buy. I'll hang all this stuff up, and I guarantee it will be used. Especially the machine screws and the drywall anchors. I seem to use the heck out of drywall anchors. Brackets. Well, of course, any kind of support bracket should use those too. Little hook, guarantee, it'll get used. This little thing, I'm sure I'll use it for something. I'll probably end up trying to trying to clamp something and weld it and melting it and you know having an issue there. But at any rate, guys, it will be worth the 50 cents that I spent on it. 50 cents. Can't beat that. Onward from there. We also went to my favorite, uh, I guess you call it a vendor mall, thrift shop, whatever. They're clear over Mackenzie, Tennessee. It's about a 130 mile round trip for us. It's up in Mackenzie, Tennessee. They've got a merchant's outlet mall and just antique mall is all they're called. Both big places, got a lot of stuff. I always find something, guys, and this weekend was no different. Found a number six. I believe it's a single notch lodge. I'm going to say that because it's got great big pour spouts. Maybe a no notch, I don't know. It's, it's so crusted over you can't see anything, but we will find out. Sits flat, no cracks. Looks like it was probably being used right up until it was dropped off there. Four dollars. Guys, I will buy cast iron all day long at four dollars. Now this piece I spent a little more on, but I don't have one and I wanted one, so it is what it is. Guys, you got a BSR handy dandy corn stick pan right there. Twenty bucks. Still pretty fair price considering they're selling on eBay for about twice that. Not too bad. The last thing I picked up, no, no it's not. The second for the last thing I picked up, little nippers. Crescent. Made in USA. New York, as a matter of fact. These are old guys. Real good shape. The teeth look good. Everything looks good on them. Two dollars. Man, you can't beat that. I guarantee I'll use them for something. If nothing else, for two dollars, I got a fancy paper weight, don't I? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And here is the last thing I picked up this weekend. I spent a little more on it, but I'm pretty sure I can get my money back out of it. Got a cool old grinding stone, or not grinding stone, sharpening stone. All cast, this is all cast iron, cast iron. This is some kind of tin, tin of course, tin here. But, this dude runs in a bath, so you can fill it with water. It's gear, redu uh, gear reduced, so you hook it up to an electric motor, and, you know, it spins nice and slow adjustable rest there and hell I can sharpen all my knives you guys I have got knives let me tell you huh. this is all stuff sitting in my project pile I've got knives on top of knives on top of knives I think that's it for that pile there's another pile over by the toolbox but I'm a big, big fan of carbon steel knives. Y'all know that I do love my old carbon steel knives, just like cast iron. I like that too. And I think this is going to be a perfect addition. The only thing I'm going to need now is going to be a leather strop of some sort to do some fin uh, final polishing. This is a nice, fine stone. It's not very aggressive at all. I think it'll be exactly what I need to get my sharpening on. You know what I mean? I'm currently using one of these Smiths. Um, Show you real quick. You all have seen this in my other videos, I think. One of these sharpener kits. So this is what I'm currently using, and I do believe this guy right here <laughs> is going to beat this hands down. 
Not only that, it's old, it's cast iron, and hell, it's just cool. So that's what I have for you guys. I just want to show you what I picked up this week in kind of a quick vloggy type video, if you will. And as always, guys, I do appreciate you watching the videos, checking out the channel, leaving the comments, and all that good stuff. Y'all do me a favor. Please stay safe. Stop back. Thank you for watching. Go to a thrift store. Find some cool stuff. You know what I mean? You never know what you're going to find. We'll see you next time.